Hey, Rembrandt, can you hear me okay? I can. How are you? Great. And yourself there? Very well, thank you. It is great to connect. I've not only worked with a lot of the people on your team over the past year or two, but you've got quite an impressive background and a great TikTok show. So thank Have you. Have you seen it? Yeah. Really? I'm, I'm not a TikTok person, but... Me neither. That makes the two of us. <laughs> exactly. Uh, where did the inspiration to have that show come from exactly? To be honest with you, um, I was feeling a little bit down. Um, and this was back in April, I would say. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, we're stuck inside. I can't see anyone. I can't go anywhere. Everything's closed. And I felt really bad about like the way everything was going um, and the state of the world and, and, sure. and the fact that I couldn't connect with people. And I'm like, you know what? I am never a victim when it comes to things. I always try to figure out a pivot of some sort. Mm -hmm. And not saying that this was a pivot, but it was something that I feel I needed to make me feel sane, I guess, right? Um, so I'm like, okay, I have work from home. Okay, fine. Um, but what else can I do to keep me connected to my friends who happen to be celebrities or CEOs or uh, other movers and shakers or in tech or doing cool things, interesting things. And so it just came to me. Uh, I hate to say this, I hate it this way because it's so cheesy, but like a light bulb literally like went off in my head, went on in my head. And, uh, and I was like, I want to do this thing where I interview people, but I want it to be too long. And so then I came up with the name One Minute with Rembrandt. And then yeah. everything else, you know, um, came to be from that moment. And, uh, and I still love it, even though that we're more back to normal and we see people now, I think. And, and we're getting used to this uh, uh, working in a pandemic style of living. Um, I still love the show. And I realized, you know, what, I'm going to keep doing it. And even though that we do get back to normal of in, in when 2022 or whatever, then maybe I'll do these in person. Like, you know, I'll get to like play against these people in person or do the interview where I'm in the same room as that person. Um, who knows? But, uh, but uh, for now, this is working and I hope people are watching and, and we're slowly growing. Um, and I think after this week, uh, this month, I have a bunch of uh, new interviews lined up, but I'm hoping we keep growing and, and one day maybe this will be its own thing, you know? So it would yeah. be so cool uh, for it to be something bigger than I could have ever imagined. Because again, this was just for me. This was just for me to feel sane. Yeah. Uh, but if it grows to more than that and like puts some, a, 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 some joy in someone's life who is alone, um, who hasn't been going out or who's still like afraid of, you know, seeing people, that's fine. Like, hopefully you can smile and laugh at me and the people I interview, you know? Yeah, I think that content is kind of key. And I find that it's kind of gone two ways. People are either not inspired and not creating or they're the most productive that they've ever been these last six months. And you didn't need a new career or a new thing to do per se, because I'm still seeing tons and tons <laughs> and tons of things from your clients it yeah. from celebrities to yeah. the CBD space. Yeah. It's all over the place. So in general, I get the vibe that even though you were down a little bit, that you see bright things ahead for PR in general. Oh my gosh, we're busier than ever, just to be honest. Um, I don't know if I should say that. I don't know. Yeah, um, it's it's like, a weird thing where you don't want to gloat about. No, I well, don't. Like, but I know a lot of people <laughs> suffering. Darren, there's yeah. a lot of people suffering right now. For there sure. is a ton, and I want to make light of that, obviously. And the whole point of me sharing, you know, what I'm sharing is, you know, so we have that, you know, again, light um, at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, overall PR, entertainment marketing, uh, celebrity uh, partnerships, uh, influencer outreach yeah. is through the roof, Darren. Like, we are so busy um, with what we have currently on our plate. And um, as, as, as you mentioned, um, you're seeing all this stuff from our clients because they're all busy and they're all thriving. So 
Yeah. We're just along for the ride and we're just so thankful. You have no idea how thankful we are um, that we're still here, you know, and, you know, we're, we're making it work and we pivoted, uh, obviously, because, you know, I don't know if you did know, but EFG did a bunch of events. So we used to do like an event every week mm -hmm. um, and now we don't do any, which is kind of weird, but uh, I think it's going to kick back up soon. Um, you know, we've done a couple virtual ones and that's not the same as you know. Yeah. Um, and there's only so many drive-ins you can do. <laughs> um, and, but, uh, but yeah, like again, the world of PR and entertainment marketing is, is on fire. It's on fire right now. Not bad for a guy that was just a crew guy on an e-channel show. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, I think that it's an inspirational thing that you built a company that could withstand a pandemic or, or at least a career that can withstand a pandemic. And you were just a crew guy. Like, here we are. So you not a that. crew guy, but you know, I was, you know, I started off as a PA. Um, yes on on an e show back in the day before i became you know uh, a segment producer and and a coordinator or whatever but but yeah like i again with anything in life it's sort of like taking what you're given and then making it work to your advantage like to me it's always about the power of leverage darren right sure. it's leveraging what you have in front of you and saying okay i want to i don't want to be here forever i want to go be there how do i get from here to there using what the gifts that i've been given and the people mm -hmm. that are in my circle and you figure it out it's hard <laughs> very hard um and there's a lot of doors that open and close and windows that open and close um but i think if you stay true to who you are and believe in your hearts of heart um and trust your gut uh you'll get there but it has to be one of those things where you really can't let anything get to you. And that's the hard thing with doing in life because it's so easy to be negative. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to be down. It's so easy to be depressed. It's so easy to do all these things. It's harder to be happy, right? So you have to work on yourself to keep being happy because you won't get to where you want to go if you're unhappy. And you just change your perspective. Yeah. Obviously, again, um, I believe in intention. I believe in, um, we just mentioned leverage. I believe in the law of attraction. So if you want it, you can have it. I don't care where you start, but if you see the finish line and you believe you're going to get to that finish line, you will get to that finish line because you won't stop until you get to that finish line. And that's me, I guess. That's you <laughs> and still doing got, it. Yeah. I'm not in the finish line yet, but you know, I'm inching there, you know, after these, 12, 15 years now of grinding and grinding, but um, I'm closer to the finish line than 15 years ago, I think, you know? Oh, you so, think? Uh, definitely yeah. you are. Well, the the sad reality is this, if, if I did a 25 minute interview with a guy who generally does one minute-ish interviews, <laughs> that's just, uh, that's crazy speak. So I'll right. end this by saying, what's the best way to follow you or what are the places that people should be going to follow you primarily? Yeah, um, obviously Instagram is still my um, preferred, uh, sorry, LinkedIn, obviously for business. So sure. Rembrandt Flores on LinkedIn. Um, on Instagram, which I share a lot of my life through the Instagram stories, it's just at Rembrandt. And then um, obviously I'm trying to get more people to watch my show. So and they succeeding. <laughs> right. Um, so they can, um, they can watch, uh, one minute with Rembrandt and the handles one M W R to make it easier for you all, um, on TikTok. That would be awesome. And it'd be very appreciative. You guys can watch, continue to watch, um, because it's my passion. That's one of my million passions. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's a lot of fun uh, for me and, and for my guests. And that's why I continue to get guests week after week. I don't have a shortage of guests because everyone thinks it's so fun and easy and quick. I'm asking for them for five minutes of their time. Like we do one minute interviews and that lasts for two minutes. And then one minute of playing a game against me, which I haven't lost. Shoot. I just lost last week actually. So one, I only lost one time of 19 times, which is not bad for not bad. You know, a guy who started In baseball. You'd yeah. be a hall of famer for that batting average. <laughs> right. Uh, if only they gave me awards for, for my one minute <laughs> games. 
um, if I got a gold medal, damn it. One day. One, one day. day. We're going to make that happen. Minute to win it, Olympics. That's what it <laughs> exactly. is. I'd win. Truly win. Well, you'll just edge closer to that finish line because you believe <laughs> it and you just put it out there. Exactly. I'm putting it out there now. <laughs> exactly. Well, Rembrandt, thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to seeing how it keeps growing and all that. And we'll get this posted shortly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. And, and uh, I'll see you soon. On Fingers crossed there. Via computer. Via computer, <laughs> exactly. at least, for the next couple months still. Exactly. Have a great rest of the day, man. You too. Take care. Bye. Outro cast.